Hello guys, I'm Ollie, and here we are at the Bray Group Stadium for episode 5 of the O Show. for an absolute treat again this week guys so we'll be looking over what's been a very good week for the Orient as well as having a chat with Ken Teague up in the boardroom later here we go it was a pretty fruitful bank holiday weekend for Orient as they managed to pick up four points thanks to Marvin Ekpetit at 88th minute equaliser against Gateshead on Saturday and a pretty emphatic win over Dover on the Monday thanks to goals from Josh Cromer, Matt Harold, and I think we'll give that one to you Job let's take a look at some of the best bits from the games <laughs> We have a very, very special guest for you today waiting for us up in the boardroom. Mr. Ken Teague's there. So let's go and see what he has to say for himself. Right, so here I am in the Leighton Orient boardroom with our principal investor, Ken Teague. Ken, lovely to have you here with us. Great seeing you. Great Thank seeing you, you again. Absolutely. 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 Pleasure to have you in the ocean. Absolutely. Today. Absolutely. <laughs> um, now, Ken, just to start off before we before we get into the matches and this season, mm -hmm. uh, just a little bit about yourself. You're obviously from Texas. Sure. sure. Dallas, Texas. Dallas. And Lived there my whole life. Nice. Only remember living in one city my whole life. Traveled oh. a lot. but London's only... your second city now, is it? Ah, uh, yeah. My <laughs> second home is, uh, yeah, is here your in Leighton. second home is Leighton, yeah. It's here, here in Leighton, yeah. From Dallas to Leighton. Yeah. Um, what is it exactly you, you did back in, in Texas with the Siege Sports? Mm -hmm. um, what, what, what is that? Just well, I have a number of different companies that I own, um, but primarily what I did is I developed technology companies, okay. and we would build them up, and then we would sell them. Um, and so that's that's primarily what I did. Before that, I worked for a company called Microsoft. Oh. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, so I, I had a fairly important role at Microsoft for about seven and a half years, and accomplished a lot there, and then went on to building, buying, building, developing, and then selling companies. Nice. Mm -hmm. And um, you had a pretty busy weekend. I did. Pretty busy weekend. I did. Yeah, absolutely. I, three matches this weekend, which is perfect yeah. for me for yeah. the weekend. I don't normally get them all in in three straight days. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so uh, Gates head away on Saturday. And then Sunday, the women's game at Mile End. And then Monday... Uh, here at uh, Bra Group Stadium, uh, got to watch the O's again, so nice. it was fantastic. Yeah, because Gates said that um, mm. late late equalizer, it felt good, didn't it? Made yeah, the, no, it made absolutely, the miles worth it. absolutely. Yeah, I mean, of course, I would prefer to be, have it be a late win, 
But yeah, yeah no. But great uh, character. Late extra. Well, ten men. Yeah. Oh yeah. Late equalizer was thrilling. Um, reminded me of Wrexham. So when we when, when we went away Wrexham last yeah. year, uh, yeah, I was in the away in there. So that that was, that was another thrilling. Uh, finish. It was a great video of you after the Rex. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I, um, there may be some more videos like that. I yeah. hope. I actually hope there's a lot of videos of not only me but all of our fans celebrating mm. goals throughout our history. Well, we're going to touch on that later. But then also we had the pretty emphatic win on Monday against Dover. Mm -hmm. Probably one of the best performances under Edinburgh, I'd say. I don't know. Yeah. I, on the game? Again. Um, from what I've heard and the conversations I've had this week, uh, we need to relish and really enjoy games like that. Yeah. They don't come along that often uh, where we play that well, uh, that we score that much, yeah. that we get a clean sheet, that we do all of the things uh, that make, make it seem like that the potential we believe in with the players and the staff that we have. We believe in this potential, so it's absolutely phenomenal to watch them actually display the potential like they did on Monday. Yeah, for sure, for yep. sure. And going back to your celebrations, our celebrations, yes. in your way, you're, you're, you're quite famous for it. Um, whenever you're over, you, you get stuck in right in the away end. Is that is that off your own back? Is that no, the... it's a tradition yeah. that I come into the away end. Sometimes it's in minute one, yeah. sometimes it's at the 45th, sometimes it's at the 60th minute. But uh, for me to be in the away in and to be with the traveling fan, it's just phenomenal. Win, lose, or draw, mm. uh, I've seen it all in the away in. So, but it's to be connected, to be with the fans, and to enjoy the match with them, it's, it's simply brilliant. And I'm going to speak on behalf of the fans at home here as well. It's great to see. It, yeah. It really is. And it's for, for a fan to, to travel the distance, then to be joined by, by the... It, it's, it's great. So it's, 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 it, I, I, I don't believe that I have the level of passion that you guys do for the club. Oh, I, think, I, don't, I think the videos are better. Oh, well, hang on, <laughs> hang on. And I'm not sure I have the level of love that you guys have for the club, but I am trying to learn how to do that. I think it's coming. I think it's coming. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the best I can. Um, you're, you're making the journey up to Chesterfield. Absolutely, you, yeah? absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun. Any yeah. th thoughts out of the game? Anything you? You know, the only thing I think about before a game is uh, the, the number one thing I think about is I always want it to be a game where no one is seriously injured. That's my main concern. Yeah. My preference is is that the players play really well. Uh, and that they play to the best of their ability, that they give you know, all the blood, sweat, and tears. They leave it all on the grass. Yeah. But I mainly uh, just want to make sure that their long-term health uh, is, is intact. So when things happen like they did you know, with George Ellicobi this yeah. year, uh, where he's going to be out six or eight or a you know, number of weeks, that's the part that I most don't want yeah. to happen. And then, of course... Uh, we always want to win. I mean, who doesn't want to win? And if I had the power or the luck or whatever it takes to cause that, we'd only win probably 46 games a year. <laughs> but so for me, the next thing is, is I just hope that the players show the level of passion and desire and commitment they have to the club that I know that they do. And so far this season they have been, I'd say so. You, you, the, the, I think the results have been fair. Uh, when taken in aggregate for yeah. how we've done. I think we've gotten about the level of points that we deserve. Yeah. Uh, maybe we could have picked up one or two along the way. Maybe we could have one or two less along the way. But I think it's been a fair, I think the number of points that we have and where we sit in the table is a fair representation of what we've done so far. Hopefully we will continue to improve and get better every week and every day. And uh, that'll show up in how the table ends up at the end of the year. I do hope so. Yeah, <laughs> I do absolutely, hope so. absolutely. Um, now, on earlier this week, we put out on Twitter that uh, we were running a competition for you to win this very pink shirt worn by Jody <laughs> Mackinac. We asked you to send in um, photos of you wearing Orient Top in the weirdest and wonderful places. And Kent has picked us a winner. Yep. 
He's, he's picked up some of his camp. So uh, based on the photos that were sent in and based on the criteria of the weirdest places and all of that, because of the breadth and depth uh, that this individual showed, uh, Cabby Julian 03, I think, or it's Julian Cabby 03, it's one of those two, Twitter handle, uh, he wins for showing pictures of when he was very young and he has obviously followed the O's around the world. Of course, of yep. course there's some great pictures from Julian there, but also there were some amazing ones. We had Mecca, we had Tuk Tuk's in Delhi, <laughs> They were great, so thank you very much. But Julian, well done. We'll be getting in touch with you to arrange you to pick up this lovely little pink shirt. Yeah, and I think we need to mention that there are honorable mentions of that course. we're going to give out. Yeah. And so uh, that we'll get in touch with those people we'll appropriately. Yeah, so keep an eye on your DMs. We'll be sliding in them sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Ken, you've been wicked. Thank you for joining us. Sure, absolutely. Um, Always a pleasure. And hopefully we'll get you back on when you're next in the UK. Yeah. Up the O's. Up the O's. <laughs> hmm. We thought we'd give you another look at the very spot where Matt Harold's lovely ginger head pumped in the third goal on Monday. However, that does bring an end to the show this week. Thank you for watching, and also a massive thank you to the lovely Kent Teague, and also you guys at home for sending in your tweets. Don't forget, we want you to stay as social as possible throughout the week, so do include any tweets to at FC and stay social. Hopefully, you can be involved in next week's episode. Looking forward to Saturday at Chesterfield now. Up the O's.